When it comes to unique cars, we all really love them. From insane Lamborghinis to phenomenal Ferraris. These are not cars that you will see every day on the streets. In this episode, there is plenty to see, including a trip to Rolls Royce. Just walking around it, it's really hot at the minute. I've just come across this absolutely stunning Lamborghini Urus, and I really want it. This incredible Lamborghini Urus Performante sitting on this street has some really nice additions to it. From these glossy black alloys to the gorgeous grey paint job sitting in the sun, this car has quite a few nice little details. This is quite a you've got the best looking spoiler I've ever bloody seen. That actually sits really nicely. Altogether, this Lamborghini is quite literally a car that anyone would buy. Now, the Connaught Hotel is known for the amount of nice cars that always sit outside it. But today, I was quite literally treated with something special. I have just come across possibly the best Lamborghini in London right now. This is the Lamborghini SVJ Roadster, and I genuinely couldn't believe my eyes when I see this. This is quite literally one of 800 in the world. That bodywork is sublime. From the glossy details all over the car to the stunning in alloys on the side. The V12 engine in this car can push out 770 brake horsepower, capable of reaching speeds of 217 miles per hour. Not to mention, it can do 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds, which is pretty quick if you ask me. Look at this beauty. Oh my, that's an F8. It's actually blacked out and it actually looks really good if you ask me. Personally, I'd feel black alloys would look much better. With black alloys, this car has quite a bit of potential, even though it looks absolutely incredible incredible from behind. There's something about the Ferrari lights that just always get me. This car, no doubt, gets your attention and makes you think, is it something that I would buy? Now, we all love talking about our sports cars and supercars, but there's one type of car that no one really gives recognition to. That quite literally being a Land Rover Defender. I don't know what it is about the new Land Rovers, but I just absolutely love them. Everything on them just speaks to me completely. This being the S model, it has an eight-speed automatic gearbox, and they've even ditched the automatic sidestep, which no one likes. And with 295 brake horsepower, it's not exactly bad for what it is. A tiny walk up the road is Rolls Royce London, which we will be taking a look inside. But before we do, I just want to point out that the front entrance of this store is actually a Rolls Royce grill, which is kind of unique. Look how nice that Nardo grey is. Why do cars always look better when they're inside a showroom? And this showroom is making this Rolly absolutely stand out. Now, a lot of people might find this hard to believe, but the Cullinan actually comes with a V12 engine that can produce 592 brake horsepower, meaning you're getting quite a bit of bang for your buck on a luxury car. But if you want even more bang for your buck, then the Ghost is the one for you. Now, for around $340,000, you are quite literally getting a lot for your money. That just looks so comfy. I'd feel like Tony Stark if I was sitting here. I absolutely love the orange detailing on this centerpiece. That just sits so nice. Look at the colour. Now, a lot of people do like the Phantom, but the Ghost is definitely the one for me. It's got this nice orange pinstripe down the side. I can't get it to focus. No, nope. but just look at that. That's amazing all the way down. The only thing I don't like is the color of the interior. If I had a Rolly, I would want a nice bright themed interior myself. And if you ever look at a Rolly, a lot of people would notice that there's this little camera on the front of the grills. Most Rollies actually have this. Can't lie, that badge could do with a bit of a clean though. That doesn't look very clean, does it? Now, with 563 brake horsepower for its V12 engine, you will quite literally be bossing the road in luxury. Next up is the Rolls Royce Phantom, which is one of everyone's favorite, being the first Rolls Royce fitted with the four wheel steering system, making it a one of a kind luxury car. Now, I know I shouldn't say it, but I could literally fall asleep in this car. And I'm not really sure about the yellow calipers. I don't know. What do you reckon? The lights are looking good, though. I do like the sleek design on them. Could you believe to replace this, it cost about $10,000. That's absolutely insane. Now, if you wanted to bag yourself a Rolls Royce Phantom, you will be paying around $465,000. And if you really wanted to stand out in the road, it comes in this incredible white, which is my cup of tea. With the black leather and white interior brightening things up inside, and that white paint job just completely changing the front end, this color spec just absolutely screams executive. I am important. And for some people, that is exactly what they're looking for in a Rolls Royce. Now, I wonder how many times that gets pulled over. Oh, that sounded beautiful. Beautiful like many of the cars that we see around these areas, including this Porsche 911, which I have to admit is a very nice spec. The lighting system's pretty unique. It even has the black alloys that most sports cars have, which fit really nicely with the black trims all around the car. But what is one car that most people overlook? And I just can't comprehend why. That would be a Maserati. The Gran Turismo spec to be exact. Like this is a carbon fiber spoiler at the back which most people genuinely like. And how can you not like that red caliper with these alloys? 
Maserati 100, I'm guessing that's the anniversary edition. And it's got Pilot Sport 4 sitting on it as well. Not bad. Now with 460 brake horsepower, this car is actually up there in the leagues. It can do 0 to 60 in four seconds and it sounds absolutely incredible. Which is why I struggle to figure out why people don't acknowledge this car. I mean, you can quite literally pick one up for $47,000, which is a bargain. Listen to that. Oh. That sounded pretty sweet. Now for the Mansori people, this is a Bentley Mansori edition, which looks absolutely incredible. I am absolutely loving that carbon fiber hood. It, I don't know, that's just on a Bentley? That looks dope. With a blacked out ornament piece sticking out like it's something in the movies and the iconic Mansori badge at the back and the Mansori badge on the exhaust system and the Mansori... <laughs> Wait, no, we ain't got one there. Ah, yes, and the Mansory badge on every piece of stitching in the interior. That blue all around the inside of the car and the outside of the car just makes it look absolutely unique. Especially considering it has the W12 engine, which can put out 600 brake horsepower, making it a pretty powerful luxury car. That is a Ferrari. Listen to that rumble. Oh my God. This car just looks, oh my God. Listen to that, and please acknowledge that plate. Look at this baby blue all right. Oh, that just sounds beautiful. Yeah, I'd definitely take this home. This is a baby blue Audi R8 Plus Edition, which can put out 601 brake horsepower, a top speed of 205 miles per hour, and it can go 0 to 60 in less than 3.5 seconds, making it the perfect car to end this video on. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like. It helps me a lot. We will end this with a drive-by from a Lamborghini SV, AKA The Weapon. That was absolutely f <laughs>